too late leave and still come up short. Yeah, uh, very difficult. Very difficult, especially at home. Um, this game hurt everybody. Good game. You know, I'm sure if you're a fan, you're watching it was a good game, but overall, yeah, it hurt. You got off to kind of a tough start, especially shooting tonight. But how are you got? How are you personally able to rally there in the fourth quarter and overtime? <coughs> Uh, just, I just, I just quit thinking. You know, I thought uh, I was more locked in defensively. The first three quarters, I was, you know, you know, trying not to have, you know, you know, trying not to give my man any opportunity. You know, I know I had booze. I knew he was coming off a pretty good game, so I want to slow that down. Sorry, hold up. <coughs> Take your time. I'm sorry. You all right? Yeah. Get my water. <laughs> you all right? Yeah. Okay. And. um <laughs> Fourth quarter, I just got aggressive, man. You know, I, I took the ball to the basket. I wanted to get to the free throw line, and I just got in the rhythm. When some of you were struggling offensively, how did Rondo help that offensive momentum moving forward? Help you with that comeback, especially in fourth? Well, he pushed the issue. Um, times where you're not scoring the basketball and you're trying to get, you know, some momentum. Um, so one of us has to be aggressive, and I thought he did a really good job of balancing it out. Shared the basketball, was aggressive. Shared the basketball, was aggressive. Um, I think Nas one of the best cars at doing that. Um, and then it opened it up for the rest of us. I thought I was able to get some shots. Uh, Sully, uh, JT hit some big shots. Paul, and then uh, we just went from there. But we came up short in the end. Talk about the way you guys were able to defensively play pretty good for the most part mm -hmm. without one of your better guys out there, Avery Bradford. I mean, Avery's a big part of our team. Obviously, defensively, he brings a lot to us. Um, but, you know, We've, had, we've, we've uh, had to play without them, and uh, you know it's a responsibility that everybody has to take upon themselves. Not just the cars, but the bigs also. You know, it's a team effort. Um, I thought everybody just you know tried to dig down and get what they had. Uh, you know, one of your best defenders are out. It's, it's a collective uh, responsibility on everybody to sort of carry that load. And I thought, uh, you know, Chicago's a well-coached team. They run it like a well door machine. I thought second half we slowed them down from a lot of things they were doing the first half. And that's all you can manage. Can you talk about being in 